All right, thanks, Alex. Okay, it's important to be able to make your voice heard, but sometimes the best way to do that is to listen. That is right. Here to teach us how to be better listeners on this Motivational Monday is Paul Fundamism. How long or why is it important to be a good listener? Well, first and foremost, Kristen, welcome to the squad. Super Thanks. excited. <laughs> uh, and you nailed fundamism. Yes. Pronunciation correct. <laughs> I think right now in today's society, you know, everybody wants to be heard and everybody's got something to say. And it seems like sometimes uh, we're kind of selfish. You know, as humans, we're innately selfish, right? And so we oftentimes forget that there are other people there that have something to say and their perspective or opinion is just as good as ours. So sometimes just taking the time out to listen is great for relationships. Yeah. Okay, so they always say, you know, you've got two ears, one mouth for a reason, right? So what are some misunderstandings about being a listener? Well, before I answer your question, uh, Kristen, Abby, question for you. Would okay. you say that you are good at remembering names? No. Kind of, sort of. It okay. depends. It, what does it depend on? If they're memorable. Like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I, it depends on the setting, I okay. will say. Yeah. If, I, um, if I'm at work, yes. Yes. Okay. You mm -hmm. know, or at school for my kids. Um, but if I'm out at a grocery store, et cetera, and I've yes. got right, people, other things happening, I'm not great at yes. it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. So that, it, that showcases exactly what we're trying to accomplish today. So what I heard you say is you're successful at remembering names when you're deliberate in the moment mm -hmm. about remembering names. See, we go to charity events and we hang out. We do fun stuff, right? We're out and about. And oftentimes you meet somebody amazing, Kristen, for example, right? And as I go and I meet Kristen, we're thinking about a number of different things. Oh, that's a beautiful dress. Or, oh, how long have you been here? Three, or, oh, I got listen with intent coming up. Or, I didn't drink my coffee today, <laughs> right? So all of these things are going through our head. And what we're not listening with intent for is Kristen's name. Mm. So I would argue most people that believe that they're terrible at remembering names aren't terrible at remembering names at all, but rather are terrible at being present in conversation. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk a little bit about listening to understand? Yes. Because there's a difference, right? Yes, <laughs> for sure. So listening to, uh, to understand versus listening to respond. I, mm -hmm. I love noticing when people want to talk, right? Because if you've ever been at a point in a conversation where uh, you're talking and you have something really important to say, or at least in our mind, right? Uh, you see their, their lips moving. They're what ready. I call that They're ready to talk. Lip, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so when you see somebody's lips moving, what that really means is they want to talk. And when they want to talk, they're no longer listening. But as we typically do, we just still just try to cram our points or perspective in, right? Instead of saying, hey, time out for a brief moment. Abby, it looks like I said something that sparked a thought in you. What's going through your mind? Sure. So what that uh, inevitably does is showcases the fact that you are important, you have value in what you're saying, and I'm clearly not getting getting anywhere by talking over you. So time out. Yeah. Let's get it. That's a really good point. I like uh, that. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think when people are good listeners, people tend to almost like them more. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. Doesn't that make them feel more important to have mm -hmm. someone that you're like, I know I can go to this person. They can always listen. A thousand yeah. percent. So let's talk about things that we love. Mm -hmm. So music, uh, comedy. I love to laugh. Uh, right. Mark Twain once said that humor is the great thing, the saving thing. Once it crops up, all of our irritations and resentments slip away mm. and a sunny spirit takes its place. So I listen to stand-up comedy for a very specific purpose. What do you think I listen to stand-up comedy to do? What do I want to do? You want to laugh. I want to laugh. So my <laughs> intent is to laugh. Now, musicians, you like music, Kristen? Yes. What, who's your, who are a few of your favorite musicians? John Legend. Oh, such a great, <laughs> great artist. Choice. So when you listen to music, what are you listening for? What do you want to feel? What do you want to do? Oh, he puts me in such a great mood, especially mm. on vinyl. Yeah. I mean, his Christmas album, you yes. get in the spirit. I don't know. I just feel lighter and brighter. Yes. <laughs> so first and foremost, as Kristen's talking about John Legend and how he makes her feel, you may notice she's smiling, right? <laughs> she's talking about something that, that she's passionate about. Well, also what I noticed there is you have passion about music. And so in doing so, you listen to lyrics or John Legend very deliberately, like I listen to stand-up comedy. Imagine if we were as deliberate listening to the person right in front of us our spouse, our children when we get home from work, right? As we are our favorite stand-up comedian or our favorite musician. Really all it boils down to is mitigating distraction, right? Put your cell phone up, 
potentially even restating what you hear, that's always important. If you have the outcome of, I'm going to restate uh, or provide a synopsis of whatever this individual just, just told me, then you're going to pay close attention to what they're saying because you know that you have homework. Paul, thank you so much. This is an excellent lesson for all of us today. Where can people find you? Uh, Fundamism.com, pauljlong.com, Instagram, at Fundamism Paul. Wherever you go to find content, your boy's there. <laughs>